Now I know what you're thinking. Wait, you already made this video before. But with the recent changes to Umbrella's kit, a buff to slime, and now that some time has passed to know how Umbrella plays like, I wanted to go back and give a fresh new look on her special moves and blockbusters. We'll start off right away with the first special move, her taunt, Hug It Out, which provides stacks of blessings. Blessings is a buff that has not really been utilized as much as a strategy. It's mostly seen as a bonus buff that can save you in certain tight situations, but for the most part, you'll probably forget about this move. Is there any point of using this on a defensive variant? Maybe. But taunts are not the best special moves you typically want to put on your defender. I could, however, see a potentially future Umbrella variant with offensive abilities that activate upon their death. In this way, perhaps using Blessings could work as a strategy. But until this theoretical variant is released into the game, I do not think this move is going to be used much with the variants she has right now. Next is the Burst which inflicts Slime. A very simple special move, nothing too fancy or crazy. Slime is a very prevalent debuff for Umbrella and this time around, it can stack. Unless you're playing comp, this is not a move you want to use on your offensive variants. It's a burst, so give it to your defenders instead. Then we have Carousel Kick, which has an increased chance to crit. I'm still not a big fan of this move simply because Umbrella doesn't really benefit a lot from crits, and none of her variants have a reason to invest in crits. The only exception is possibly Space Case, which gains access to precision, so you can invest a lot in crit damage without needing any crit rate and incorporate Carousel Kick as part of her moveset. Aside from that though, this move is probably just for combo extension and doesn't provide any other useful value for her other variants. We'll be skipping the tag out move again because well, it's just a general tag out so we're moving on. Next is Salt Grinder and my opinions on this move has completely changed due to two reasons. First, we now have a dedicated overstuffed game plan with Candy Crusher that would want to use Salt Grinder and I've seen that it's actually quite effective in feeling overstuffed and dealing low hit damage against like things like Pain Wheels and Tainted Blood. And second, the recent buff to Slime that enables it to stack has completely changed this move's usefulness. Using Salt Grinder as a combo extension to activate multiple buffs from the opponent is actually a valid strategy now. I've seen videos of Salty destroying Assassin's Creed just from Slime and Salt Grinder alone. It's absolutely hilarious and I think this move has now become a useful tool for Umbrella to execute a particular game plan and strategy. We finally come across Slurp and Slide and this move is still one of my favorites. It's a special move that deals tons of damage via Armor Break. I do have to say that with the recent tweaks to Umbrella's kit, her game plan has become more solid, focusing on high combo hit count with Slime to counter buff heavy defenders, and Slurp and Slide might slide into a more niche role now. This move is going to be great against defenders that don't really rely on buffs and variants that don't really inflict Slime too much. Space Case, for example, would love this move a lot as it fits with the variant's playstyle and use of precision. It's a great one-hit special move that can be chained very easily together with Boblin Bubble. I say it's still a very, very solid special. Next, we have Wishmaker. Wishmaker is an interesting one because it allows for bubbles and puddles, which is a key component of Umbrella's kit. It does not see that much use over other moves, however, because this move is more of a utility move. It hardly deals damage, but it's able to trap the opponent with its triple debuff that can be useful in certain situations. I definitely do not think this move is a staple, and is perhaps more useful to be used for defenders since it is a projectile special move that can easily be spammed by the AI. Of course, that totally depends on whether Umbrella gets a strong defensive variant in the first place. Finally is Boblin Bubble, and I still think that this is an absolute staple of a move for Umbrella. It's a bubble special move that sets up puddles and is super easy to combo with, and just using Boblin Bubble after a juggle with a slip and slide already deals tons of damage. It's an amazing special move that is so simple yet sets up for a lot of combo and interactions. Great move, big stave pull, and now it's time to move on to the blockbusters. We're first starting with Acid Reflux, one of our easiest blockbusters to use. It did get a bit of a change now that slime is stackable, but its usefulness should still roughly be the same. 
This blockbuster is so easy to combo with and sets up for so many bubbles and puddle shenanigans that it's actually crazy. At level 1, it's super fast to charge and you can easily trap the opponent in the corner with a puddle for your abilities. It also has the ability to inflict multiple stacks of slime if you're lucky and it still remains a fantastic blockbuster that also extends combos but can do so much more than that. Then we have Hunger and Rush, and despite the buff, this still feels like the ugly twin of Acid Reflex. The change is now that it triggers when you're overstuffed, and that makes sense because Hunger and Rush fills the meter and there's literally no reason you will ever use this move on a variant that wants to be in Ravenous. However, it still remains to be seen how good this move will be, even in an overstuffed build. It's still slightly awkward to use and not as easy to combo with either. I will still prefer to just use Umbrella's throw-based blockbusters and specials like Salt Grinder and Tongue Twister, which we'll get to later, if Overstuff is the aim. Perhaps the extra damage makes it worth it, but at this point, I'm still not convinced. Next is our final level 1 blockbuster, which is Under the Weather. This is a very situational and niche blockbuster in the sense that it's only really good to set up puddles for your abilities. It also only combos really well in the corner after an acid reflux. Outside of that though, you'd probably want to use a different move. So unless you're using variants that needs puddles and bubbles for their abilities, you don't typically want to run this unless you're also trying to aim for that wither for meter control. The good thing is that this blockbuster does what it's supposed to do very well. So overall, it's a good niche move for specific variants only. Finally, we've reached one of our two level 2 blockbusters. We're starting off first with Projection Lens, which is an okay blockbuster, but the other level 2 blockbuster is just so much better that I don't really see a reason why you'll ever run this. Projection Lens doesn't synergize at all with the rest of Umbrella's kit. It's a projectile blockbuster, but it's not a bubble-based attack. Unless we get an Umbrella in the future that cares about projectiles or multiple stacks of debuffs, I doubt you'll ever use this move. Power Surge is also a bit of an odd debuff that only makes sense with Wonderkind, but I suppose my biggest problem with this move is simply the fact that it's a level 2 blockbuster. You generally don't want to run too much of a level 2 or higher blockbuster because they take longer to charge, and the other level 2 blockbuster, as I've said before, is just so much better. And that brings us to Tongue Twister, which still remains to be one of the best blockbusters for Umbrella and possibly the whole cast. It's a command grab that is also a ranged move so you can grab the opponent from afar. Not only that, it is easy to combo with and increases your hunger meter towards overstuffed while also inflicting slime and regaining health back. Like Acid Reflux, it did get a bit of a tweak due to the stackable nature of slime now, but its use should still be roughly the same as it did before. This is still a crazy and fully packed blockbuster that is very similar to Fuqua's Inevitable Snuggle as another command grab blockbuster that heals you. Except this one is so much better because it's also ranged. Finally, we have Feeding Time, Umbrella's level 3 blockbuster. And level 3 blockbusters are generally not used a whole lot, but Umbrella's is one of the better ones. It heals your health back to full, which is amazing, and it prevents defeated opponents from reviving. That is actually quite powerful and it's a really good effect for a level 3. The best part is that unlike Eliza's, Squiggly's, or even Big Band's, this move only deals 2 hits, which means it's going to deal a huge chunk of damage in one go without activating any defensive abilities. And it also feels your hunger meter towards overstuffed for extra damage, and I think this is a very solid move for Umbrella and a very good level 3 blockbuster to have. It's just a great, great tool. Overall, Umbrella has some nice things going on for her. Her survivability is one thing that she has a lot to go on. Tongue Twister, Feeding Time, and even her Taunt that gives blessings provide her with much needed survivability which she lacks from stats. Combo-wise, she can go as far as Annie, and with the stackable slime change, this strategy is no longer as bad as it used to be. I still do enjoy dealing low hit and high damage through Slurp and Slide with Boblin Bubble, but I believe the changes to Umbrella's kit has been very positive, and with a bit more tweak on her existing variants, she could be a great character with equal footing to the recently released Black Dahlia. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't think anyone can top Black Dahlia. But anyway, that is going to be the end of this video. Let me know your thoughts about the recent Umbrella changes. Feel free to drop down in the comments below about what other changes for Umbrella that you'd like to see. That is all for me. Hope you all have a nice day ahead. Things are super busy this month. 
and I'll see you in the next video.